What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA Saga. And for today's video guys, I have uh, several very interesting and important news. First of all, I will show you uh, how SEC stonewalls all of our efforts and how they are lying. They are consistently lying to all of us. Then I will show you how it is even possible that uh, FINRA is protecting uh, the wrongdoers and how every link is connected to another link behind the scenes. And I have to say it is a very important and uh, useful information. And at the end of this video, as usual, I will show you my personal story. And guys, please watch this video till the very end, because it is very important for me personally. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and hit the like button for me. For now, there is not so many news uh, that uh, might be useful for the MMTLP saga, but in general, I have to say that we've achieved a lot. And uh, one of the reasons uh, why we can do it uh, is because we are one of the strongest community and we support uh, one another. And that is why, guys, please support me and my channel. And in exchange, I will continue to do my best in order to help the MMTLP community. That is why just click the like button. So, I want to begin my today's video with this uh, tweet that was uh, published by Joanna R. Intel. And uh, she wrote, uh, be focused on MTLP, ignore the noise, make the calls, send the emails, ask for a hearing subpoena, help uh, with the voluntary share count, uh, do your part, stay focused, and let's finish this. And she added uh, this uh, picture, negative people need drama like oxygen, stay positive, it will take their breath away. And yes, uh, despite all the noises, despite all the drama that is happening uh, right now around the MMTLP community, we have to push our case forward and we definitely have to win. And let me show you how SEC is uh, stonewalling our efforts. This tweet was uh, made by RareDD just several hours ago. And let me quote to this. The SEC knew there was an issue with MMTLP since at least uh, November of 2021. The SEC opened investigations into the Torchlight and Meta merger. If you remember, at every stage of the MMTLP S1, the SEC appeared to have taken the maximum amount of time and required the maximum amount of amendments, even for minor changes. The SEC knew that FINRA blue sheeted MMTLP and MMAT before the first MML MMTLP corporate action. They didn't step in, they didn't inform investors. And guys, this is their pure violation of their own rules. Next one. The SEC then filed uh, charges against uh, Atlas shortly after the U3 halt, and this was linked to the merger in a negative way. The SEC has well noticed the issue to Palikoras and John Burda, and also to MMAT, but uh, there's been no movement in quite some time. The SEC took more than a year to even recognize the initial next breach as one, they then made next bridge withdraw their own S1. The SEC has played dump uh, regarding the MMTLP next bridge share count uh, and the actions of FINRA. The SEC's response to Ralph Normans and 70 plus congresspersons was a no response. I'm sure I'm leaving some stuff out, but at very turn it looks like the SEC has only been a hindrance to TRCH, MMAT and MMTLP. Why? And this is the main question. Why they didn't do what they're supposed to? Why does SEC violate their own rules? Why doesn't it protect uh, the retail community? We have so many questions, but we have no answers. And I think uh, we will find it out. Let me show you the next tweet uh, that uh, leads to a very interesting conclusion. And I will explain you what I'm talking about. A rare DD wrote this. The idea that naked shorting counterfeiting in the stock market doesn't take place because there's rules against it is uh, preposterous. Goldman Sachs is the clearing broker for GTS Securities. Are they also their prime broker? Are you familiar with their fine history? 
The fact that GTS works with Goldman only adds credibility to the theory that naked shorting has taken place. If the problem is as bad as it seems, the market makers uh, wouldn't have been able to do it without help. And he added a couple of screenshots. Uh, let me first of all show you this one. It is the screenshot of uh, FINRA's uh, official website uh, in regards to Goldman Sachs. And here you can see at the bottom of the screen, uh, uh, 2022 FINRA All Rights Reserved report about GTS Securities LLC. They are connected to each other. But guys, it is not the end. Let me show you another tweet that I covered just uh, a couple of videos ago. And uh, it is uh, very important uh, as the beginning of uh, my following uh, due diligence. If the DTCC is owned by securities industry participants uh, that commit multiple and repeated financial crimes, and if breaking the rules regarding settlement protects these participants and owners of the DTCC, why should we believe that DTCC operates honestly? Surely, there must be some honest people working at DTCC that are tired of seeing how the investing public is treated. And he added uh, this screenshot. Uh, uh, the de depository trust including corporation is owned by its principal uh, users which are securities industry participants these include banks broker dealers mutual funds and other financial institutions some of the users user owner of the dtcc include citigroup bnp paribas jp morgan St state street ubs goldman sachs morgan stanley virtu barclays bny Mellon, and bank of america so Goldman Sachs. And uh, we have Goldman Sachs uh, right here that is connected to GTS. And uh, let me show you this. You know that uh, all of the broker dealers, they work uh, through the payment for order flow system. And uh, uh, let me explain you what does it mean. Payment for order flow is essentially a rebate from market makers to brokerage firms for routing retail, buy or sell orders to them. And uh, payment for order flow is nothing else but a middleman which collects all the uh, data from uh, all the orders uh, that was uh, on the market at the particular moment. And uh, this, uh, all, all of, the, of these orders uh, should be sent uh, to the market maker and my market maker pays for this uh, information. And uh, this is how it works. But guys, let me show you this. The payment for order flow system was invented uh, with the participants uh, of uh, James J. Angel. Here is uh, the uh, methods and systems for directing for and executing certified trading interest. We are on Google Patents official website and here, is, uh, uh, here you can see two patents uh, where uh, James J. Angel is uh, one of the co-inventors. And let me show you this. Uh, you know that uh, uh, James J. Angel was uh, the person uh, who represented the uh, MMTLP community in front of the Congress uh, back uh, in, uh, I guess, June of 2023. And here is the article that was published on MMTLP resources back in the days. The community now has a copy of uh, the presentation that James J. Angel gave to Congress over Zoom regarding MMTLP. Here you can download the PDF uh, presentation. And guys, this presentation uh, was demolished and destroyed uh, completely by MMTLP community because it doesn't have all the information in regards to MMTLP saga and it is uh, hiding the major facts that proves uh, that MMTLP was illegally halted. So, let me show you this. Uh, in addition to this, the community has learned much about James Angel and the many conflicts of interest he may have uh, for presenting information on MMTLP. He holds patents uh, for PFOF and dark pools in his name. You can read the original news thread about James here. So, we know that uh, he holds the patents uh, for uh, payments for order flow. And let me show you this article in details. Uh, James J. Angel debate. A new name has emerged in the community, James J. Angel, due to his tweet and one community member reporting that he was hired as an expert to brief uh, Congress on MMTLP. And uh, let me show you some information in regards to James J. Angel. So, right here, uh, James' tweet seems uh, to side with FINRA. Here is the tweet that he published on uh, March 15 of 2023 and he wrote, it is not FINRA's fault, they had no choice. My prime suspect is the management who engineered a security designed not 
to be traded. In order for security to be tradable, it has to be registered at the DTCC. Ask management why it hasn't do so. And guys, these uh, questions uh, at this very point uh, is ridiculous because we know how it uh, happened uh, and uh, everything began uh, uh, with the TRCH and MMAT merger. And James J. Angel asked uh, the question that pretty much exposed himself. So, uh, community members find some interesting research about James. John Burda invited him to participate in a space call and has some spot on questions uh, for him to answer. To date, uh, we have not heard uh, of any acceptance. And here are some questions. Did you speak to Congress? Did you disclose your relationships with market makers, including Ari's firm? Ari's firm, guys. And you know that uh, Ari Rubinstein is the head of GTS Securities. And GTS Securities is the company, is the clearing firm of uh, uh, Goldman Sachs. And Goldman Sachs, guys, is the owner of DTCC and uh, as it is not the end it is not the end let me show you further connections have been drawn between James and his uh, current and former employees and here is the tweet from April 18th that was made uh, by Rare DD April 18th of last year he is now the academic director of FINRA CRCP program at Georgetown we already know FINRA wants next bridge to trade we are supposed to believe this guy from the NASD and FINRA is also an unbiased shareholder of MMTLP. Be serious. And guys, for now we know that James Angel had just a couple of shares of MMTLP and that is how he so-called became, became an MMTLP shareholder. But definitely, he is not an MMTLP community member and uh, he doesn't fight for us, he fights against us. Uh, also, he wrote this. Ari Rubinstein references James Angel in his latest GTS Securities comment letter to the SEC. We can clearly see that uh, their interests align. More evidence uh, of collusion, in my opinion. And here is the document that proves uh, his words. And uh, I have to admit that uh, we have a lot of evidence uh, how everything works behind the scenes. We have so many connections and that is why we know when all the ridiculous uh, limit orders from the community members of uh, $25,000 of $200,000 were about to execute it, FINRA implemented U3 HALT because FINRA know exactly that uh, it is uh, the problem uh, in regards to MMTLP story because uh, they blue-sheeted uh, MMTLP and MMAT activity for several months at the date of uh, the U3 HALT. On top of that, market makers, through this uh, quite uh, weird system of ownership, uh, when uh, several um, major market makers pretty much owns the DTCC, the clearing firm, and they can basically remove all the orders because they own the system. They invented the system. They invented payment for order flow. They own this system. And that is why uh, FINRA implemented this U3 HALT and that is why, guys, no matter what, but uh, we have to push our case forward and uh, all the information, we have all the information right now and we have it for quite a long period of time. That is why this information should be used in uh, litigations and definitely we have a couple of them on the table right now. But the most important part uh, is that we have uh, to help uh, the community members to push our case through Congress. And how we can help uh, to do it? Definitely. We have to contact uh, our congressman office and ask uh, to contact James Commerce office to express support uh, for an MMTLP congressional hearing. You can uh, do it by yourself or you can use uh, the form that uh, is uh, on the official House Oversight website. And uh, you can use uh, this uh, blueprint, uh, just copy and paste this information and add uh, to this uh, form. So, definitely, all the facts uh, are showing us that uh, we are on the right path and we have a lot of activity from the wrongdoers that are still trying to push our case down. That is why we have to unite and that is why, guys, I want to end this video with the same exact tweet. Negative people need drama like oxygen. Stay positive. It will take their breath away. 
And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium.